Hi there, this is Unmesh and today we're going to learn a technique to add shine to jewelry in Photoshop. And this technique is so interesting that it can also be used to light things up. For example, you want to light the street lights. It can be useful. For example, you want to light something from the inside. This technique totally does it brilliantly. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Photoshop and we have a ton of examples for you. And if you want to go ahead and download any of the sample photos, check the links in the description. So let's have a look at our first example. What if you wanted to add shine to the pendant or I don't know what to call it. What if you want to add shine to that stone? Very simple. All we have to do is to create a new layer and this new layer is special. So press Control Shift N, Command Shift N on a Mac. New layer dialog box shows up. Now inside of that, you can name it shine and change the blend mode to color dodge. And then make sure you check in fill with color dodge neutral color, which is black and hit OK. Now you'll see a layer with black filled in. Then you need to take the brush, make sure the foreground color is white. And if the foreground color is something random, you can always press D to set the foreground and the background color to default, which is black and white D for default. Press X to toggle between the foreground and the background. Then you can take the brush and make sure the flow is somewhere around eight to 10%. We can get it to 6%. That's fine. Let's, let's get it to five. Now zoom in and just paint with that and you'll see magic. Have a look at the shine. Have a look how natural the shine is. You can just increase the shine if you want to. Have a look. This is kind of too much, but have a look at the shine. Now, if you move the shine, you can do that as well. See how natural and nice that looks? This looks so realistic. You can also go ahead and take the brush and make the shine even bigger, something like that. Totally big, totally blown out details. Now, move it at the bottom, move it at the top. This totally looks legit. Let's have a look at our other example. I don't want to save it. Don't save. Have a look. You can also light up stuff with this thing, right? And how can we do that? Now, let me show you one more way of doing the same thing. And this can be easier for you. The previous one can be easier for you. That's for you to decide. So instead of pressing Control or Command Shift and bringing up that new layer dialog box and choosing color dodge and all that stuff, we can do this as well. Create a new layer. Change the blend mode to color dodge. Now you might be thinking, all I have to do, is just take the brush with the white and just paint over here. No, that's not going to help. That's not going to help. That's not going to add the shine. Here's what we have to do. Let's erase it. Double click on the right hand side. This will open up the layer styles dialog box. Just uncheck transparency shapes layer. That way the transparency will not shape the layer. Right now we painted in circles. So the transparency maintains it. We don't want that to happen. So check this off and hit okay. Now when you paint, it will add the shine. Have a look, it's adding the shine. And this is just for the light. So for this light, this is just for this light. See the highlight over there? It looks so much more natural. And even if you move it with the help of the move tool, you can move it. It takes the shape of that particular area. So we can place the highlight here. It's lighted up. And to add some glare, for the glare, we don't need to change the blend mode to color dodge or make changes in layer style dialog box. All we need to do is to create a layer on top of it with the brush selected, make the brush a little larger and just add some glare on top, just like that. And if you want, you can change the blend mode to overlay. Let's see how that works out to be. Yeah, that works out to be pretty good. On top of it, you can create one more without the overlay and add a little bit of glare here and there. Okay, just like that. Now you can get back to overlay and you can erase some areas like that. So you can take the eraser, you can decrease the flow of the eraser as well, and you can just erase out some areas like that. Just a tip, to draw a straight line with a brush, you can do this. You can just paint once, just dab once here. Hold the shift key, dab once on the other side. So it draws a straight line, okay? Dab once here, hold the shift key, paint on the other side, makes a straight line. Dab once, hold the shift, paint on the other side, okay? Dab, hold the shift, paint on the other side. Easy, right? Now, have a look at the before and after. So this is the before, not lighted up. 
this is the after. Isn't that amazing? To make it even more authentic, you can do this. You can add a color lookup table and this is just for fun. And change to foggy night. Let's see how foggy night looks. Looks totally awesome, right? And on top of it, you can add one more color lookup table and you can add something like crisp warm or edgy amber. That is good, not awesome, but you can choose crisp warm. Yes, have a look at this. Amazing, isn't it? On top of it, how about let's add one more color lookup table and let's choose night from day. So now it's night. Now in this mask, you can take the brush and just make it bigger and black as the foreground color, you can just paint over here. See, awesome, isn't it? This is so amazing. So you can get creative with this, but that's the basic idea, color dodge. Let's head over to our next example. And in this example as well, we will be adding shine. However, we have to keep in mind the direction of light. So which direction is the light coming in? Let me show that to you. So the light is coming in from top to bottom. Okay, so where will the shine be? Shine will be here and here, opposites. You cannot add shine anywhere like here and here. No, it has to be according to the light. Here as well, if you don't see the shine there because there's a shadow, the shine can be here and just on the opposite side right here. There will already be a little bit of shine. So if you're confused where to add the shine, just look at where there is already a little shine, okay? So simply, let's delete this layer, create a new layer, change the blend mode to color dodge, double click on the right hand side, check this off, hit OK. You can use either method. Take the brush, foreground color white, and let's start adding some shine. You can decrease the flow, 5% again. Look how awesome this looks now. You can add shine here as well, but it's blowing out the other areas. So be careful, let's add shine just here. Okay, totally awesome. Now there's a shadow over there, so we can add a little bit of shine here and on the opposite side. Now let's have a look. So here's the before, here's the after. Just a little bit of touch adds so much to it. In this example, you can clearly see where the shine already is. We just need to enhance that. So. Create a new layer, change the blend mode to color dodge, double click on the right hand side of the layer, check it off, hit OK, and then just add that extra shine. Maybe we can make a shine on this side. I think we did too much, so take the eraser, okay, zoom out. So this is the before and this is the after. You can just work on it and let's just close it, I don't want it. Now, this technique is not only useful to enhance the shine, but to add it to the images that lack it. So let's have a look at this example. This totally lacks the shine. So again, we will use the previous method again. So Command Shift N, Control Shift N. Then let's name it Shine and Mode Color Dodge. Check it, hit OK. Take the brush, foreground color white. And which area is bright already? This area. So let's add shine here. Let's add shine there, the opposite side. Make the brush a little smaller. Let's add shine here and probably there. You can add a little bit shine at the top and the bottom just to make it look interesting. And erase the extras. Take the eraser, erase the extras, erase the extras here, here as well. Okay, zoom out and have a look. It makes a lot of difference. So here's the before, here's the after. Totally makes it stand out. So there we go. That's how to add shine or light things up like street lights in Photoshop. You have to keep in mind the blend mode, color dodge. Now there are two ways to do it. One is by pressing Control or Command Shift N, bringing up the new layer dialog box and then choosing color dodge and check in, fill in with color dodge neutral color, which is black and then paint on the new layer with white and you're good to go. Do not forget to decrease the flow. The second way is simply creating a new layer and then changing the blend mode to color dodge, double clicking on the right hand side of the layer, 
going into the layer styles dialog box and just checking off transparency shapes layer and then just paint in with white and you're good to go if you want to light up stuff you might want to add the glare for the glare you can use overlay you can add more layers of glare without the overlay just experiment with it and you'll have a lot of fun time with photoshop so that's all for this tutorial hope this video helped you and if it did make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe ring the bell so that you my friend don't miss any other future tip trick or tutorial I would like to take this moment to thank all these nice and amazing people for supporting this channel on Patreon and helping keep Pix Imperfect free for everybody forever. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.